Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Scrapbook Sunday 101, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come scrapbook with me. Yes, I just took a sip of my coffee. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. So what I chose for this Sunday was Textured Chic. This is the bundle that's on page, the suite, actually, that's on page 98, 99. Love, love, love this whole collection. Uh, one of the reasons, um, that's one of the reasons why I used it for my summer retreat. It's actually got a little bit for every season. Donna Gray and myself also used this for our Sweet Delicious Fun Fold Club. So if you'd like more information on the Sweet Delicious Fun Fold Club that Donna and I do every month, just click the link below and it'll give you all the information. Every month we do a different suite. She does a fun fold. I do a fun fold and you get six projects to check out. Also, my retreats. Um, this one just finished up. I will be doing a uh, Christmas in July. So look for that information. How do you find all that information? Click on the link below that says sign up for my free newsletter and tutorial. And you would be able to get all the information. Also check out my Stampers Delight shop. Dot com where you can get some fun apparel, sweatshirts, t-shirts, coffee mugs, and so much more. And if you're going to order from me for the month of June, use this host code right there. Okay, everything is in the description below. So let's get started. So when I do my scrapbook Sundays, they are really on the fly. Okay, I have an idea, but I have not done anything with it. I'm going to move this down a little bit so you can see the whole thing or most of it. You can see I've already got a lot of these pieces cut out. So this is the gold distressed uh, specialty paper that comes with that suite. And here's some of the die cuts that I've already cut out ahead of time. So we don't have to keep going through that. And these gold pieces, again, that's with the sweet. I love this paper. You're going to love it too. Check out, um, I also did a live version of um, the textured chic. So go back and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook. Um, usually I like to be on Friday mornings at 9 a.m. and Monday nights at 7 p.m. Uh, that doesn't always happen. Uh, the summer is, you know, very busy for everyone. Um, and plus with doctor's appointments and uh, just different things going on in your life. I know you can understand. So definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook so you know when I'm going li to go live. All right, enough chatter. So this is a piece of our 12 by 12 basic white. This is one of the 12 by 12 designer series papers that comes with that kit. I'm not really sure which one I want to use. I, I want to use this one because I love the gold foil in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am actually going to trim that down a little bit so you just see a little bit of the white edge. I like to do it that way. You don't have to. Just going in there just a smidge. I don't know what that is. Maybe an eighth of an inch. You'll find by watching my videos. A mathematician I'm not. And I eyeball a lot of things. Okay, so I got these two little skinny strips. Now what I'll do next is just see if that enough of that was cut off. I think it was. Yep. Okay, so that's what I want. I just want a little bit of an edge showing. So I can go ahead and glue that down. I was going to use this side, but I don't know. You can use whatever side you want. Just adding a little glue here. I'm using our stamp and seal. You can use stamp and seal plus you can use your liquid uh, glue, whatever you have handy. I tend to use my stamp and seal a lot. I love it. And it holds everything in place. Okay, so there's the start of my page. Now, I want to use the colors that they say um, go together with this petal pink, mango melody, pool party, and soft succulent. So those colors aren't necessarily in here. So I want to bring those in and I have these sheets already cut from other projects I was doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those all um, blend in, okay, or coordinate. So I'm going to take 
and you don't need much. So the first one I'm gonna use an inch just because that's my first piece. All right, so that's an inch and you can do an inch of each one if you want. Now I'm gonna have to cut that down as you can see. So if you'd rather keep it the same, you can do an inch, you're gonna be layering that. But all these beautiful papers. Now this one you see doesn't have the gold foil. It does on that page, but I want some of these cute little snowflakes. So I'm gonna take an inch of that, okay. So now I have all of these papers. They are actually gonna be layered together and I can layer them together first and then trim it down. So this is the back side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little glue here, layer that up. I should flip it around, but okay. So I'm gonna layer that up, see if it's even, which is probably not. All right, but did pretty good. Okay, and then this one is going to go, you know what? I think I want the dark one in the middle. So I'm going to pull that apart. Like I said, this is definitely uh, my scrapbook Sundays. I just kind of wing it and hope that it comes out good. Okay, so we're going to just layer that right there. Okay, that one's down. Might have to add a little bit of glue right here, although things are going to go on top of that. Okay. And you see why I changed that? Because that darker one now shows up a little bit more. All right. This is going to go right here. So I am going to trim off just that little bit that I trimmed off from the 12 by 12. Just that little tad there. And that should fit. Pretty well right there. Okay, so now you see, I can see all those beautiful papers. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this all down. There we go. And add it right up here. So you can see this paper over there too. Okay. Now, before I do anything else, what I want to do is I want to put my matting down. You can make this a um, two-page layout by doing the same thing, but these papers would be on the opposite side. So they'd be over here, and then when you put them together, it'd be um, a two-page layout. I'm only doing a three-page layout. So we have four seasons, so I have four colors here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down. Now, a lot of people ask, well, how do you know what size to mat? If you don't have pictures well you don't really but i know that i have a lot of pictures that i can cut down and make them fit into these mats so i'm doing four by fours because when you get a picture and it's a four by six you can actually cut a lot of that down so we have that one so let's do this one four by four and remember, scrapbooking does not have to be all about pictures. It can also be um, memorabilia, you know, tickets to a game, um, you know, anything like that. Flowers, dried flowers. So when you're thinking scrapbooking, don't always think just pictures. There's a lot of things you can scrapbook. I believe this is already at four inches. This is at four and a quarter, so we'll take that off. Looks like a quarter of an inch. Might have been what I cut off on that paper. So we're doing four by fours here. And then I have a four, I'm gonna do a four by four with this. And now I have my matting for my four seasons. Because I have an idea in my head, I can go ahead and lay these down. I just wanna figure out which colors, the way I wanna, layer the color. So I think, okay, so we've got, let's see, we can do fall, winter. Hmm. Nope, spring. Okay, so we're going to do it winter, no, fall, winter, spring and summer. But you could do it any way you want. I'm kind of putting them in order. I think that's the way I want them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and layer these down. 
giving me more of my starting point of what I want to do. And I might not be in camera view. Let's just, is that even? Yeah, that's pretty even. Okay, so this ran out. This is my stamp and seal. So let me show you how easy it is to change that. Our stamp and seals come in these great reusable bags. So you can just snip that off. It's a Ziploc. If you don't want to put your um, stamp and seal back in, I use it for a lot of my leftover gems or ribbons because it is resealable. So it's reusable for whatever you feel like using it for. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right back in there. Oops. Bent that a little bit, but it'll flatten out. Okay. So there I have my matting down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a little uh, piece of white. I actually have a strip here. I could use these strips. Now let's use a regular piece. It's going to be easier. And I'm going to do some stamping. So let me bring my mat. Now these are photopolymer stamps, so you want to use your mat. And I'm going to bring in some of these colors and stamps. Okay, so the first one I'm going to use is my snowflake. Stamp that down. Then I am going to do my flowers. So we're going to use the mango for that. Now, mango, I only have the one color, but I want to make it two-step stamping. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab my um, boulder image ink that up real well and then I'm going to stamp off once so that it's a lighter color. I'm going to bring in the second stamp that goes right over that. And I just want to line this up. They really are pretty easy to line up but the best thing is if you don't they still work. It's two-step stamping so it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's my flower. The next one I'll bring in is my seashell. Same thing with the seashell. I'm going to take the bolder image. I'm going to ink that up with petal pink. Oh, I actually grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed flirty flamingo. So let me just grab the right one. I want that over here. I could use that, and I might. I'll leave it there for a minute. I'm going to ink this off and do the petal pink because that's the color that I have here. I may still use that one. Then I'm going to go in with the smoky slate and the more detailed image or line image as they call it. I'm stamp that down. Might as well stamp this one up and see if we're going to use it. And we may. Okay. And the next one we have, of course, is the leaves for the fall. I'm going to start with soft succulent. I'm going to ink that up like that. Then I'm going to go in with the evening evergreen. Go right over that. So there's all my seasons. And here are the dyes that are going to go over it. And I'm going to cut those out. Oh, where's my other one? Right here. Now, these little guys right here that were cut out with the gold, let me just show you what they look like. They are in the um, bundle. So those are more detailed. And that's the way those come out. Okay, so let me go in and bring them my, my uh, embossing machine in. Now, this is the magnetic plate that we had. Um, they took it off the market, Stampin' Up. It was not up to Stampin' Up standards, which I love about Stampin' Up. If something's not up to the standard, they will take it off until it gets fixed. So if you have one, um, you can still use it. Uh, it does start uh, coming apart here, but it's still usable. If you've ordered one from me, no worries. Stampin' Up! is going to refund you. If you ordered it from another demonstrator, you want to get a hold of your demonstrator. Actually, you don't have to get a hold of your demonstrator if you ordered it because they will reimburse you for it and you don't have to send the plate back. That's just to let everybody know that they are working on that issue. 
Okay, so I'm going to take these off. And since I already have that other shell, I'm going to also cut that out. I'll probably use it. Why not use everything that I cut out? A little darker, but it's okay. And less to clean up. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is actually work on the side piece because I want to see how many pieces I have I can use here. Okay, so I'm going to grab my ribbon, and the ribbon that I'm using is our glitter organdy ribbon. And I'm going to cut four of these small, small pieces just like that. They could probably be even smaller. I want to have enough. Oh, yeah, I got enough. I got another roll if I have to get that. Okay, so now I've got these four pieces. Let me bring that up. Okay, so I am going to grab these. I'm going to pinch the edges. I'm actually going to put a little glue right here. I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to take the next one. I want to get all four pieces on here. So that's going to go right about there. Again, you can see I'm just eyeballing all of this. I want to bring these two so I can see the last two, make sure that I have room for what, what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little glue here just to hold it in place. <clears throat> and I apologize if I had to clear my throat because I am talking <laughs> on the video. I have to grab some water coffee. <coughs> if you've done public speaking, you know what I mean. Okay, so now I have those ribbons going each way. I'm going to bring in some dimensionals, and I'm going to start layering those. So I am going to do, first one I'm going to do is fall, I think. So I'm going to take that ribbon, or that cut out. I'm going to put it right there. Then I'm going to do the winter. You can start with any season you want. Then I am going to do spring. There'll be still a still shot on my blog, stampersdelight.com. When I'm done, there's my spring. And let's do my summer. Of course, my summer is the seashell. Okay, so there's my seasons. Now I'm going to add a little bit of gold. You can add it on the top, but I want it off. I think I'm going to do it off-centered. And then my shell. Might have, I might do more of these. Okay, so there's... That's what I'm going to do with those pieces, I think. Yep, I am. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little glue. I'll grab my liquid glue for this. I might have to cut out some more pieces. And down at the bottom here, I am just going to glue that right over. I'm not trying to line it up. Okay, I want it off-centered. And I may add some more leaves to it. So again, off-centered, laying that down. Same thing with the snowflake. And then this one. And I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue to that. Now you could use your adhesive sheets, but since I wasn't sure what how I was going to layer these, that's why I didn't use the adhesive sheets. The adhesive sheets are great. So if you don't have those, you're definitely going to want them. I'm just going to add that right there. 
Okay, I'm still probably not done with that, but next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of this. I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to grab some of that ribbon and do a few more of those loops. Probably can use smaller pieces here. One, two, three, four. I love this ribbon too, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna put that over on this side. So we're gonna again go over with the glue here. This is where my picture or memorabilia would be. Do the same thing on this side. Just add a little glue to hold it in place because you are gonna be layering on it. And I could do the opposite. Yeah, maybe it will. How about if I do this? Nah, because this is on that side, I'm gonna keep it here. I don't wanna put too much on one side. So you can see all it takes is an idea for a scrapbook page and then just go with it. Okay, the same thing I'm going to do here. I've got the four seasons and I am going to layer that. So I've got the summer, which is going to go here. No, you can't see that. That's up there. Okay, I've got the... Spring. This, of course, is the fall. And then the winter. All right, let me bring that back down. Now I have these pieces, so let's use up those gold pieces. So I have another one of the gold pieces here and add a little glue on that just to hold it in place and what i don't have oh i have a small um snowflake so i'll use that one up put that one right there let's move those out of the way okay so for the flowers i have the small flowers we're going to use those Again, I'm just putting a little glue on it. Maybe hold it right there. And I have another one. Let me put that one maybe right here. Just change it up a little bit. And then, of course, I have the seashells. So I have a couple of smaller seashells. You can use the larger ones. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to add... One right here, and then I have this cute little guy. Another seashell. I guess you can see summer might be my favorite season. Now that glue's coming through a little bit, but it's all right. I'm gonna put that one right here because it will dry clear, but I'm gonna use up everything. So I'm gonna grab this one too. Let me use everything I got here. Put that one right there. So there's my seashells. Now let's see what, whoop, put you back there till you dry. There you go. And I have these two leaves, which I can also use here and maybe here. This is why I said I, I have extra pieces and I will use them wherever I can find room when it's time. Okay, we'll use that one little there. Put that right there. Well, you keep sticking in my fingers. Okay, do I have anything left there? Well, these pieces I do have left, so I will use this one. And maybe just put it right here. This way I'm using them all up. I don't think I'm going to use those two, but you never know. 
And I can always cut out more of the snowflakes. Okay, so let's take a look at what I'm looking at now and see what else I want to do. Those pieces can wait. Okay, so now I am going to take, because I love the sentiment, and it says, you make each season of life even more beautiful. So I'm going to take our deckled, uh, rec deckled rectangle dies. This is a standalone die set that we have. Let's see which one fits that sentiment. Of course, you can see they're all layered. That one does not, so it might be this one. This one just makes it, but I might do it at an angle. Because I really want to use that, that set. So let's try it out. Let me grab a piece of white. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's take the pool party. I'm going to stamp it up first and see if this one fits. See, it doesn't fit that way. So I'm actually going to do it at an angle. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to bring that back in. I'm going to cut that out to the side here. I'll bring it back in in a minute. And you can hear me cutting it out. I can tuck that in now. Right here. Just like that. So because I have these things laying down, I am going to put dimensionals on that one side here, here and here. These two sides. This side I'll add a little adhesive. I'm going to tuck that in there and put that right here. Okay. What you thinking so far? You like it? And then I'm going to bring in my doodads. So for these, I am using the iridescent rhinestones. Definitely a favorite of mine. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of these rhinestones. I got a lot of loose ones here, so let's use those up too. Okay, so these are all the medium or small sizes, but it's okay. I'm going to Add, whoop, that one fell off. I'm going to add one right there. Add one right there. Never have enough doodads. Sometimes I leave them wherever they fall. We're going to add some right here. And a little tiny one, maybe. Right there. All right. So let's see where else I want to add these. So I got some of these small ones. Let's go with, okay, I need to get some more putty out here to hold those in place. There we go. I'll put one here on the flower. Another one on that flower. And then maybe just a couple throughout here. I do tend to put a lot of doodads on my projects. I think that's enough, though. And there you have it. A great all-season scrapbook page. Again, there'll be a still shot on my blog, stampersdelight.com. So go check it out. And if you're uh, seeing this on Facebook, it'll also um, be on Facebook. So thank you so much for joining me on Scrapbook Sunday 101. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook so you know when I upload a new video or I go live. Until next time, keep on scrapbooking, scrapbookers. Bye.